Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel uh, if you're already a subscriber um, today we're gonna talk about this foundation infallible fresh wear uh, 32 hours from L'Oreal I never saw anybody wearing it in person but I heard like so many great reviews and I was like really, really like curious, you know, would it be the one, would it be the foundation that after which I don't want to uh, go back to the luxury products? Would it be the one which gonna make my skin super perfect 24 hours a day? And I was completely disappointed and I tell you why. So I got the foundation in the shade 120 it calls uh, beige natural natural beige uh, it has SPF 25 uh, and it has vitamin C so I'm living in Dubai and I thought of course it would be like really really great idea to also have SPF because sometimes I just forget to put sunscreen so so this is it this is I, I really need to try and make review I was like so excited when I first got it. I was like really, really like in this like spirit of making like a great review. How great is it? Um, infallible, really amazing kind of texture, blah, 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 blah. But after trying it for a couple of um, times, I was like, 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 All the reviews you heard online, uh, is it like paid? I really don't understand because it's horrible. It's it's horrible. I cannot say like a L'Oreal, like a bad company. I mean, I trust L'Oreal. That's why I bought even something from them. But this was such a disaster. It was a, a future garbage product. So if you're planning to buy this one or considering it, hear me out what I didn't like about it. Maybe it's gonna suit you. I don't know. It's just like maybe I have different um, skin preferences and needs. Thing I hated about it. First of all, when you start, usually I put on my hand a little bit and then I start applying all over my face. Uh, so this formula once like it's out <laughs> out and about and i started to apply on my face it's just like stops it's not blendable it's just like sitting like with a thick layer even though they kind of marketing it as a very like uh, light wear foundation and it's kind of like maybe light but the layer is very thick the layer is heavy it's light and heavy <laughs> I don't know like how to explain but like the look of it it makes like you look older like the it's like the finish it's like a very like a sandy finish it has a little bit like a tiny bit of glow somewhere at the end like a tiny tiny fraction of it but the end result it's quite bad like it, it's I cannot say it's heavy, but the layer is like, it's intense. Yeah, it's intense. It's like when you buy those like a lip uh, tattoo lipsticks now, like very popular. It's like the same sickness. It's like for the lips, it's nice. But for the face, you want to look like young, fresh, like it's your skin, you know, you're glowing uh, from the like healthy diet, from the all the beauty things that you've been doing from uh, going to spas or whatever. You don't want to look like old and sandy, like you just, came out of the desert you know it's like with the sun on your face and this stuff like makes me look like I just came out from the desert with the sun on my face it's like very orangey it's very ugly it goes like all in wrinkles so I'm so disappointed like the 
smell of it is lovely actually so the smell is a plus N nothing like heavy nothing ugly lovely smell like the texture looks nice but when you start applying it just sets you don't even have time you know to properly kind of put on your face once once you kind of touch your face it's like it sets as a cement for 32 hours don't forget <laughs> After trying this foundation for a week, I was actually pretty upset um, that I bought it. Um, also the reason that I bought, I just wanted to make a video review about it because so many people waved and I thought like, oh, maybe like for my kind of uh, makeup collection, that would be a cool stuff to have it. And um, yeah, I realized that I cannot really use it. It's not my thing. I love to have more of like elusive wear something, you know, kind of like a second skin. But this one, it looks like a mask, like a clay mask, orange clay mask on top of my face. Pretty, pretty ugly if you come very close. I try to record in different light. But nevertheless, I found a way how to use it after all. So here is the recipe. I try with many different combo and I found that if you use a sunscreen, so I have uh, this um, NYX sunscreen. I like it very much. Um, it's for face and body. So I put a drop of this um, sunscreen. And then I put a drop of oh, and then I put this one. And now <laughs> we gonna get a very beautiful glow finish, more of like a BB cream um, consistency, and I absolutely love it. Like this, it become much better. It's more glowy, more thin. Like the texture become really like a second skin, like something like a nude wear it's like much 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 thinner layer and I'm in love with this combo I really like kind of more of a glowy healthy skin not this like old looking crinkly dryish kind of look and this one sad to say but this would make you look much older it will make um, your skin look wrinkly. It's really greasy. It's like uh, when I put under my eyes, oh my gosh, like it looks absolute disaster. So with this combo, you get like a double, even though this has SPF uh, and I'm mixing it with SPF 20. Maybe that's why it mixing quite well. I try to mix with my daily cream uh, from Dr. Babor, but it was a disaster. It was like not mixing well. It didn't look nice. So if you kind of stuck with this, you also have like uh, uh, this foundation and you don't know what to do or maybe like any other foundation, try to mix with different products. Sometimes it actually uh, becomes much better. So now we created like just look at it. It's much better. Okay, it doesn't cover maybe that well but i can work with it at least i can cover these little things uh, with concealer at least the skin looks nice it's not fake it's not like mask it's like a glowy healthy young skin and this is the look i love to have it so 
let me just put the rest of the makeup and show you from different sides. So this is my finished makeup look with the L'Oreal foundation modified by sunscreen. What can we do? But um, yeah, it looks uh, decent. At least it looks decent. So I want to show you, like, when I look in the mirror now, I'm not terrified from this, like, orange clay link on my face. Now, let me just yeah, show you with different lights. And here is a little bit against the light. So you can see, it looks really perfect. When you uh, look very close, it really looks like a second skin now. I personally <laughs> think it's much better. Let's go to the bathroom and see this uh, ugly pointy light, how it's gonna look like. So this is the artificial light look. As you can see, it's lovely. And not much of this like intense orange color. And usually the bathroom light is the worst, like, you know, this pointy light on top. Uh, they create like lots of lines on the face. So take my advice and nobody gonna be scared of you with this, <laughs> this ugly scary foundation. And definitely don't wait for a compliments uh, from people around if you're gonna wear this. They're gonna be quite terrified of you unless it's a dark night, you're going to a party or a fashion show. Then it could probably work because in the darkness you cannot really see. You can put lots of highlighter or a little bit of glow. So this one, it's only... <laughs> apply this on its own only in a darkness, in a club, in a fashion show, yeah, in a photo shoot probably it could work because then uh, your face not gonna be like oily and it's gonna be like fully set. Even like for a video, you know, I could like make the right light and then it's kind of gonna look nice and beautiful. I could even say like fakely that, oh my gosh, it's so nice and amazing. It's all about the light sometimes. That's why I showed you this product, how it really looks in different lights and really like how it feels to wear it because once you buy this one you cannot go to work wearing this foundation <laughs> that's out of question like I, I wouldn't be able like to see people up close I will be so uncomfortable knowing like there is like a layer of that sun playing on my face so don't really waste your money on this, uh, really just like save it a bit because once uh, the thing is with the um, sustainable makeup kind of purchases, once you buy the wrong foundation, then it could be like ongoing, ongoing process. If you think like, oh, I will buy this cheap one like on discount, as I thought. Um, and like you hear like so many like recommendations that it's like really lovely you see a couple of nice reviews you get excited you go and purchase and then you stuck with it you don't know what to do you're not satisfied you want to buy something else because um, I definitely uh, cannot wear this on a daily basis so I would naturally I would need like a couple of other and once you keep like buying from those like a low range brands then it's like you don't get it perfect the first time and you keep like buying and buying, wasting your money. At the end, it came as a much higher bill rather than you just like save a little bit of money, bought one great foundation and that's it, you're set. 
your you have beautiful skin you don't need like three foundations at a time or five of them expiring uh, yeah because like you have to basically use it you buy you need to use within a year and if you have like five of them the wrong purchases then you have to like keep throwing and buying throwing and buying so I would I honestly uh, want to get like my next purchase I'm looking at um, Charlotte Tilbury if I don't pronounce correctly I'm really sorry I want to get like airbrush flawless so this is what I was looking at or uh, Clarence um, I think skin illusion or something like this the yeah this like a nude skin uh, effect I bought from them it's absolutely amazing never failed me so this is like infallible failed me <laughs> in the first week uh, Clarins skin illusion never failed me it's a beautiful foundation uh, there is like couple of nice from Givenchy um, like long time ago I remember I bought like great one it was wonderful but then like a um, couple of years back I bought like another one like a lighter one it wasn't good and also maybe like the Dior just look at those like just go there go to the store compare but really this doesn't worth a penny like it doesn't worth even spending a couple of dollars on it just like put that money for something else um, yeah for your investment makeup <laughs> to get like a really good product so thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe i will also do a review of concealer i actually bought them together so yeah don't forget to subscribe to see the review of uh, a little sister or a brother concealer from this line um yeah i hope uh, you got some valuable information out of uh, this review let me know in the comments down below what's your favorite foundation that you ever tried and uh, wish you a wonderful week ahead bye